Back in 2006, in February, we were all finishing up Arizona Bike Week that year, and uh, we decided we'd go out for breakfast on a Sunday morning, and and uh, ended up in a car motorcycle accident just shortly after breakfast. And from there, it was uh, it was pretty uh, intense for a while because uh, I didn't wake up for two months. <laughs> When I first woke up, and like I say, I was wearing a halo and some type of back brace because I'd broken my neck and, and my back and, and pelvic area, and I was getting in a depressed stage. You know, when you lay at a long period of time with a brace and stuff on your neck and you're laying there and you can't really see your toes and you're thinking, man, this is the end of the line for me. I mean, uh, what am I going to do from here? You know, I just, uh, I didn't really set up until uh, about five months after the accident. My biggest problem was being able to just transfer out of bed and transfer to a board so I could actually start to sit up. And that was a process that took three people to get me out of bed and, and kind of set me upright. And, and, uh, and from there, uh, the, none of the lower extremities, either leg was working and uh, I thought, that it was pretty well over with, and uh, it took another uh, 30 days before I could take maybe a dozen steps. I was going to a neurologist here in the valley, and they said, we need to send you over to some people to get you going with a lock swing brace, and that's when I first started with Hanger, was with a lock swing brace after they took the solid one off of me. Boy, I thought that was the neatest thing that ever happened. Boy, I was really mobile then. I couldn't, I couldn't wait to get going then. Good to see you again. Good to see you, Rich. Wow. <laughs> Hangers kept the hope up. From this step, we're going to go to this, then we're going to go to this, and, and that's, that's kind of what kept my uh, hope up anyway, to, get, to keep going, yeah. That's one thing I really, uh, really liked about Hangers is that, oh, they stuck with it. Yeah, they did. And my whole hope is someday I want to wiggle my toes on this foot. I haven't wiggled them for five years, <laughs> so that's my whole goal. <laughs> so you got to stay positive if you want to get better. There's no other way around it. And seek out people that'll, that'll want to help you get to that goal. That's, that's kind of how I did it. Believe me, I've been chasing this thing all the way to stem cells. That's how serious I got about this goofy thing. And I've been out on the coast, and I've been up north, and, and I've been way out in, in Tampa Bay, Florida. But hangers overall have beat them hands down as far as the, the drive, the interest that they take in their patients. I, I mean, that's the number one ticket for me. And, and I think you could you can almost you can teach anybody about the mechanical aspect of anything but as far as the actual one-on-one -on -one, the person to person and, and the uh, the drive that they have to get you mobile again is phenomenal it really is